It was a beautiful sunny day when the first Southwest jet landed in Memphis this week, but of course not all flying days are like that. So tonight on Behind Closed Doors, I'm going to show you how Southwest pilots train for those days when the sky is dark with storms and an engine fails on takeoff. Switch. You're in the cockpit normal with pilots preparing Lights test. for a Southwest flight Check. from Seattle to Salt Lake City. Take off warning horn. All is normal Set and cross -checked. as they taxi to the runway. Southwest 369, line up and wait. Only one six left. Rolling onto the runway, they are approaching one of the most critical moments of flight. Takeoff is where everything has to be right. Set takeoff threats. As the airplane picks up speed, it will soon travel beyond the point of safely stopping on the runway. Both engines are running full power. The moment for takeoff arrives, at the same moment the left engine fails. The pilots have few options. The only good choice to continue takeoff with a dead engine. All of this is taking place in one of eight $30 million full motion flight simulators at Southwest headquarters in Dallas. Back inside the box, landing here down. the pilots brought the plane safely down on one engine. We train everything from the, from the mild all the way to the, the most critical in which we just did. Southwest flight instructor Mark Shu says this is far more than a sophisticated video game. I look at it making them better so if they ever get in this situation that they can deal with it and 143 people can, can go home and see their families. So how realistic is it? Now the auto throttles will stand all the way up to max takeoff power. My turn to find out, sitting in the captain's seat. Now rotate. I've flown a lot of airplanes in my years as a pilot, but never a 737. Maintain that good visual and flight attitude. It gives, it, it gives the pilot the warm fuzzy that... Wait a minute, did you just say I'm flying a 737 and I have a warm and fuzzy feeling? Yes, sir. Exactly That's right. That's what I thought about you said. Right. <laughs> about a left turn hitting 340. And on we went. I'm happy to report there were no complaints from the passengers. Of course, it's probably a very good thing there were no passengers in the back. And we've also noticed one of these that was hanging off the back of every simulator at Southwest Airlines. Yes, that is a rubber chicken. And to find out why it's there, check out our Facebook page at Local Memphis. If there's some place you'd like to go behind closed doors, let me know on our Facebook page or by email at doors at localmemphis.com, and I will try to unlock some of them for you.